introduce you to a very special new show that's coming out. It's premiering this December on Adult Swim, Rick and Morty. It's a new animated series about a sociopath scientist who drags his unintelligent <laughs> grandson on an insane, on insane dangerous adventures across the universe. Who doesn't want to see that? <laughs> right? right? Right. Okay, well, let's introduce... That's right. I was, like how the bitch went, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it great. You did it great. interesting. You threw him a curveball. Who doesn't want to see that? And then who doesn't like, want to see that? I, uh, uh, who? Double negative. Uh, it, Raise your hand if you want to see that. Everybody, right? <laughs> well, you, they could just cheer if they see want to see it. it. Yeah, they were yeah, just right, confused right. about not wanting to see it. What do they do? <laughs> let's get. A, let's introduce the very hilarious and sexy panel. Uh, way off here, we got the very fun. You've seen him on SNL, 21 Jump Street, Suburgatory, and Archer. We've got Chris Parnell, who plays Jerry. <laughs> Jerry Smith. All right, you've seen her, or you've heard her on Disney's Fish Hooks. Chelsea, uh, she was Tigress <laughs> in <laughs> Kung Fu. Thank you for the light. Uh, does that mean I'm done? You gave me the light? Okay. You, you've uh, heard her voice on Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness on Nickelodeon. Carrie Walgren. Kari. <laughs> Kari. <laughs> Kari. Kari Walgren. Kari Walgren. She All plays right. Jessica. No, you, yes. All right. Uh, we got Spencer Grammer here. She plays Summer. She was on uh, a Robot Chicken, NBC's Iron Size, and Greek. She's a sister of the Smith family. She. she <laughs> <Everybody>. <laughs> here we go. Here it comes. And the Wastelander himself, <laughs> Ryan Ridley. <laughs> God. All right, where are my oh, notes? Who's this idiot? Uh, all right, okay, uh, okay, uh, uh, like uh, the creator of House of Cosby's, and he was on some <laughs> called Acceptable TV, Justin Roiland, the creator! Co creator, co creator. Rick and Thank Morty. you, thank you, thank you. Every once in a while, uh, a great, great, great writer comes along. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who like starts in comic books and goes into live action entertainment and is just so uh, incredibly genius. Neil Gaiman couldn't make it, but we got Dan Harmon. <laughs> nice. Co-creator. Nice. Nice. Executive producer. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, okay, guys. What is this show about? Tell us, tell us, come on, you know, let's start with uh, the creators and work our way okay, down. Okay, okay. Uh, what can we see from this great show <laughs> that's going to be premiering this December um, on Adult Swim? All right, so, you know, it's a 22-minute animated half-hour, half-hour, 22-minute comedy. That's a, I said, said a bunch of things over and over again, but that's what it is. Uh, and it's basically Dan and I got together and we, we kind of merged our two different sensibilities and created a show where he sort of boxed in all of my insanity and what, what is it that you say like like a, a, you put a little frame of like put a little frame around it put a sign on it that says you're allowed to think this is nuts yeah like yeah. so that yeah then... so, so that so that you you can you can feel like you're along for the ride every episode as opposed to watching it and being like what the f is going on right now um, we, we can swear, right? But at Is its core, true? but at its core, it's about a a, a crazy, insane scientist that uh, uh, has been estranged from his family. He shows up uh, and moves in with them, and he takes on the his his grandson as his apprentice. The grandson's an idiot. He's a genius. He can do anything, and he's basically taking this kid, dragging him around on all kinds of insane insanely dangerous interdimensional interreality uh, adventures across the cosmos while on the other side we're, we're, we're dealing with a failing marriage and uh, a teenage uh, sister who is you know getting into trouble you know in her own way trying to trying to fit in with the popular kids you know those Smoking old cigarettes <laughs> yeah wearing capri pants yeah I just I just got who weird. is voiced by Spencer over here by the way just to make that clear. I just got, I just got word that we're not supposed to use naughty oh, is sentences. That, oh, so is that true? Oh, can okay. you say that again Yeah. Uh, 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 she no, wears no, no. capri pants and, <laughs> and uh, cigarettes. 
It's a rip. Are you confused because of the cigarette that's Capri? Is that what you just I said? I don't know. Okay. Let's go to the cast. Yeah, tell, the us, cast. tell us about your characters on the show. Let's just like keep going down. Let's skip Ryan because he doesn't do anything. And then uh, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll go down, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I play, um, I play Summer, um, who is, is Rick's uh, older sister. Um, and I kind of give it to, or not Rick's older sister, Morty's older sister, sorry. I got really nervous, there's a lot of people out here. Yeah, man, look at all you guys staring at us. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? Well, no, no, no. Um, what? And, <laughs> and, I feel like I really represent, um, you know, any, anyone who's an angsty teenage girl, like, you know, at, at any moment, it's like the end of the world. Um, and I've really enjoyed playing this part because I was a lot like that myself, so. And I mean, at, really at, relate. <laughs> at, at its core, I mean, we've created. I mean, you know, this we're hoping for this to be like the Simpsons of Adult Swim um, cartoons. Yeah, the Simpsons of. <laughs> wait, is, that, is that that's right? Simpsons of cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot, yeah, yeah. pal. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, no, of Adult Swim, like Adult Swim's the version of guy the Simpsons. Basic cable. It's 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 we we we've take we've taken a very grounded. Uh, uh, concept, which is a family. Oh wow, a family! Like we haven't seen that before in animation. But what we've done is we've we, we've allowed ourselves to do the sort of Rahul doll, as Dan likes to say. Uh, uh, you know, what's the guy that, that goes around in the in the booth and flies all around and he's crazy and he's British? What's his name? And the show's been on for like 800 Dr. years. Who? Doctor Who. Willy Wonka. Doctor Who. So like Rick is very Doctor Who like. Oh boy. Rick is very Doctor Not Who like. He could do anything. He's 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 I don't want to say he's magical cuz it's all couched in like Star Trekian science. I mean every device he has, you know, it it, it works. Up. We just yeah. don't know how. Anyway, sorry, Rob. What that's were you okay, just... that's okay. Keep going. Uh, uh, anyway, so 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 It was a joke. So so you have <laughs> Please I didn't shut hear up. it. I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. Uh, so you have this this grounded family and then you have you have this crazy Rick character who's just, you know, he's nuts. And then the, 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 reason, the, the point I was trying to get to, back to uh, yeah. Spencer, is that Morty is kind of, you know, a little bit of a pushover. He kind of, he, he's very easy for Rick to just drag along on, on these insane adventures. And we try to hit as many sci-fi movie type storylines as we could across the course of the season. Uh, really, really a lot of variety. No time travel, though. No time travel. We stayed away from that, in case anyone was interested, wanted to know that. But, uh, 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 like but Spencer, Spencer, Spencer plays Summer, the sister. Summer stands up to Rick a little bit more. She's a little bit more of like, a, hey, Rick, you know, uh, you know, why don't you get off my back? That, right? That, that's that's that my favorite pretty, episode. It's pretty... What do you think of that? It's, I mean, it's called talk the about... Centurion Paradox. It's amazing. Uh, Kari, 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 so yeah, you play, Kari you play uh, Jessica, and you're the love interest. I am. I'm, yes. I'm Morty's love interest. In Is the... the feeling mutual? Is she re reciprocate? You know... Keep it clean. No. No, no. Well, you know, I, I think she thinks she's, he's really sweet, which is the kiss of death, you know? But uh, she's also the, the, the star of, of many of his very inappropriate um, fantasies. The, the back shot that we got of, of, of her flashing the boobs, that was me. That took a lot of VO experience. <laughs> yeah. And, um, There's a lot of moaning, there was sexual a lot of moaning. noises that I nailed that audition. you will all hear soon. Woo! That's why I'm sitting here today, kids. <laughs> and Justin did insisted that you really play that moment out for real. That's yeah. right. Yes. <laughs> it's all like, Yep. right? And we have it all part. on camera. Yeah. And here it is. No, 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 no. Um, for yeah, all the kids really in the fun. crowd. It's really fun. And, and actually, uh, Justin's been, been really cool about, um, you know, I'm playing a lot of little incidental parts in the, in the show. So sometimes they'll say, can you do this old woman character? Can you do this uh, alien secretary? Can you do this sex robot? And I say, you're sure this is for the show? <laughs> <laughs> can we hear the old woman character? Just, just a sentence? Yeah. Uh, I think she's something like this is like Justin's, yeah. Justin's yeah. created such name? a what sexy show. Oh, what is her name? The, the, the Slippery Stair lady? That sounds oh. just like her. Oh, yeah, her. Rose from Rose? Slippery Stair? Oh, yeah, Rose. Her name's Rose. And she's going to hook you boys up with something strong. <laughs> yep. Kari's all over the season. And then, of course, Rob. Oh, yes. Chris. Chris. <laughs> okay, so you play Jerry Smith. Jerry Smith is Morty's dad. I, He's my are dad you too. moderating? I'm her dad. I didn't know that was my last name. I apologize. I, knew, <laughs> yeah, I know I was Jerry. Jerry, Jerry no, Smith. Was Jerry it's Smith. Jerry Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, I'm uh, 
I and uh, into the character. and you play Morty's dad, and it's by far my favorite character uh, of the show. He's wow. like Charlie Brown. He's he's just just nothing ever goes his way. And Chris is what does Chris think? Yeah, Chris, what do you think? Let's let Chris talk. Let Chris talk. I'm sorry. No, I mean he's I, Justin. Please. Uh, I just wanted to say that Chris comes in to the to these records, and his it, the very first take, I'm like. That is incredible. And then I make him do it a bunch more times. And then I go back and I use that first take every time. He's like a one take wonder, this guy. Nah, he is incredible. You're too kind. I, and it's, 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 that's the truth, guys. <laughs> Chris Parnell. I do want to point out that on this show, we try to be equal to the sexes and all that kind of thing. But it never pans out that way. That's why any women on the show have to share a mic like this today. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I wish we weren't so misogynistic, but and I could offer mine, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll share my mic with you too, Kari. Um, no, it's yeah, it's a fun part to play. I guess maybe I relate somehow to the uh, to the Charlie Brown aspect of it. It's easy to play the the beaten down guy who's not having such good luck all, always. But I love reading these scripts because you never know where it's going to go, and it's literally all these different dimensions. And I, you know, and I love sci-fi, so. It's pretty delightful. I'm, I'm always kind of knocked out when I read the script. I'm like, oh, wow. I, I yeah. would never have thought of that. That's pretty cool. Like that is an excellent segue. Let's talk about what can we expect from the first season of this show, of Rick and Morty. Dan, let's start with Dan. Let's start with Dan. Ryan let's let Ridley Dan. will follow Dan Harmon. What can we expect? <laughs> a lot of, lot of pro-gun uh, humor. <laughs> I just, I have, I, I uh, have my, my agenda and I stick to it. I, I <laughs> like to tell stories where someone doesn't have a gun and then, um, the, the, then they get one and then all of a sudden they're really happy and everything goes their way. Yeah, um, yeah. And so I just, every I just episode feel, when happens. I When I write something like that, I just feel like I got my job done and I sleep like a baby because <laughs> I have a giant gun next to my bed. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I, no, but seriously. Uh, we, we, do, we, we, do story, we do kind of an even split almost, like a sort of eight traditional A-B structure, almost like something you'd see in a, in a, in a, in a traditional sitcom where we, we try to, we, we do these absurd adventures, these sci-fi adventures with this crazy alcoholic manic scientist who's dragging his poor naive grandson across the cosmos. Um, we, we kind of balance them and braid them with these B stories that are uh, uh, you know, something out of a Woody Allen movie, almost with the with the with the family. Like it's more, like way more grounded and emotionally based. Um, this g guy trying to hold his marriage together. Uh, Chris Parnell's character kind of married out of his league. Um, he mm -hmm. he he got uh, uh, Sarah Chalk from Scrubs plays his wife, and uh, it's 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 clear enough through the backstory that. She got pregnant when she was 17, and they mar and they got married. And he he might not have been her first choice um, if if that hadn't happened. And so his character is always sort of driven by this insecurity. Um, and uh, but on her side, she's a she's a horse heart surgeon. Um, <laughs> she she clearly fetishizes exceptionality, which is why her dad Rick gets away with all this stuff because she's one of those people that like she really thinks. Uh, um, you know, special people are, are, are above not special people and wants to think of herself as a special person. Um, she's not a real heart surgeon. She's a horse heart surgeon. But if, but if she heard me say that, she'd get really yeah, flustered and mad because horses have regular hearts like everyone else and stuff. But yeah. she doesn't really care about horses. She just... She just went to, had to go to veterinary medical school. And then Jerry, on the other hand, is in between jobs. Uh, he's an ad agency guy, low level, entry level ad guy, ad campaign guy, who's perpetually unemployed. So how do you think that makes him feel? And his wife wears the pants around the family. The pants. I mean, let's, get, let's get real. Talk about sci-fi. <laughs> All right, Ryan Ridley. <laughs> Um, Ryan Ridley, first comment, Ryan. No, no, Ridley, but 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 okay, okay. So so really quick. So 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 what what you can expect Real to quick, see? Real quick, everybody. Sci-fi, sci-fi, sci-fi wise. We, we what we're trying to do with this show, honestly, is we're trying to tell. Like, every episode is its own point of entry. Like, you could land on episode five, six, seven, whatever it is, and you will know who the characters are. You will be able to follow a clear, awesome sci-fi movie-esque storyline. 
And tell, tell, tell us some of these storylines. Well, I don't want to spoil talking? anything. Spoil it. That's, I mean, there's not that many people okay, here. Well, come on. No one's going to come Okay, on. fine, fine, fine. Um, yes, don't tell anyone, all we've right? We've got... <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh, uh, what just one just can a couple of sniglets. Come on. Um, the oh, episode. The, the dog the one? The dog episode. one's kind of... Yeah, that, sure. Okay, fine. So, so uh, the household dog keeps peeing on the carpet. Ooh. Jerry... Good night. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the household dog keeps peeing on the carpet. Uh, Jerry, played by Parnell, as you all know by now. I play Jerry. Uh, it, um, <laughs> Jerry Smith. He's very upset. He grabs Rick, who's trying to take Morty off onto some crazy adventure, and demands that Rick do something about this dog, make the dog smarter. So Rick warns him and then, you know, goes and does it. It's a cognition amplifier, puts it on the dog's head and leaves. So that's the A story, or B story, I guess. It's like we have two A stories in this episode. But anyways, without getting into every little plot, the, the, the dog, you know, it's flowers for Algernon. Some <laughs> goes down, man. The dog it goes the lawnmower crazy. Dog. Yeah. Um, and then on the other side, Rick and Morty go and do this other crazy awesome thing that I'm not, I'm not even going to tell you about. Uh, what else? We have a shrink Your down first episode. critic. <laughs> it, here's oh. my question. Like, how, how many people out here do we have that are under the age of 18? Oh. 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 Gr- how oh. many? Be honest. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now, can, can those of you that raised your hands just go, la, 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 for about 10 seconds? Okay, yeah. Here's yeah. what it comes down to. This show is disgusting, completely inappropriate, <laughs> and you're going to want to get a bag of Doritos and a bong and watch it over and over again. <laughs> Am I? That's how you sell a show, Thank Justin. You, I'm sorry, like, was I recording a different show the whole time? This, you guys, I mean, I'm reading these scripts and it's just like, what mad, disgusting genius came up with this? Yeah, I was, tr- tr- yeah. The, 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 Dan, why did you hook up with this guy? What, 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 what is he to I, you? I, I Tell was, me. I was, I was between yeah. job. <laughs> um. He had a year off. He had a year off from another show. And, uh, you know, I, I, I want to make people happy. And uh, Justin is amazing. He has these, like, incredible juvenile ideas that I, I, I enjoy grounding you know I, I, I like being the boring person that comes in and goes like okay I, I, how, how can how can this be more boring how can this be um, more more marketable it, it satisfies me uh, to it's like a craft you know taking a crazy idea like when I worked with you you know uh, uh, you know that that was the that was the appeal of of, 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 of that horrible job was uh, you know you would go what if I what if a werewolf landed on the moon wouldn't that you know would be a super werewolf man and then I'd go like, yeah, but how would that make him that feel? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> would, would, his, would, his, would his mom be proud of him? And I don't care how anybody feels. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about I, I, that. So, but but how, you guys were friends before this, right? Yeah. You didn't, like, For 10 years. Uh, this did, is our 10-year friendship anniversary. Can we get a big round of applause? This very day. Oh. Today. This very day. 10 years ago. Here comes the cake. Can you imagine? It was this day 10 years ago that uh, I was saving a seat at a panel. I was going to sit through a panel for an animated show coming to Adult Swim and uh, so that I could uh, uh, see the thing that came after it. And uh, Justin, <laughs> Justin wanted the seat that I was in, and uh, we stabbed each other the with same pens room. and this stuff. This very same room. We're all in now. Um, should we open it up to questions? How much time do uh, we have left? Let's see how much time we got. We got, we got. we got a little bit of time. But let me ask you, okay, uh, like, just ask the table, like, Okay, so this is Adult Swim, and it's animated. Like, what other animated shows do you guys are inspired by, you like? I mean, this is, I mean, like, let's talk about I, that I, for a second. I, I can say, like, Maybe I love... Maybe Justin goes last. Okay, fine. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Let's fair go enough, over, enough, let's go, enough. let's start with uh, Chris and work our way back. Fair enough. Maybe skip Justin okay, okay, and then okay. go back to him. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just saying, we'll just, go just ahead, switch go ahead, it up yeah. instead of you doing it. You're everything. right, you're right, you're right. Um, I like Archer. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Cars, what do you take? Uh, I mean, I am, I am also a personal fan of Archer. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, just the cool thing about this show is that if you tune into Adult Swim and you, you like the kind of shows that are on Adult Swim, this is 
going to be right up your alley. I mean, it's, it's the same kind of raunchy stuff that, you know. But I think it's also, uh, uh, I think it's but also, also God. family storylines and a lot of really sentimental. It's questions. also really tightly narrated. The, the narratives are very tightly like and followable. They're tightly written and followable. Swear. You, 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 your mother will like the show. Your mom, your dad, they'll all be able to watch it. We've gone out of our way to make sure it's grounded enough. For your mom. For your mom. <laughs> For your mom. If your mom doesn't like it, you know what? She's got bad taste then at that point. Because uh, 10 out of oh boy. 12 moms agree. We did a whole thing that, it's, that, that they love it. And, and those Justin's two moms that didn't, amazing. weirdo this moms. This is a room full of ad Spencer, executives, Justin. Spencer, you don't have to you like, please sorry. say something so Justin shuts it's, up. It's a crazy show. No, um, yeah, I, I, every time we get a script... Um, you know, I like sit down and read. It's probably like my favorite day because there's more and funnier and funnier things that they wrote, and they just—it's kind of genius. It's really genius, actually, because just when you're dealing with cart, no, when you're dealing with cartoon stuff, you can kind of do anything, and like the comedy, it pushes the boundaries so much more than you can in like you know, I guess with with real faces, because <laughs> you can't because you can't like you know. Like you saw from the cartoon, you can't like make someone just like turn into a blob really easily, without. Bugging. It's true. It's true. We are yeah. taking or advantage green, of the medium. It's harder to be green. Uh, to the best of our ability to tell stories that, if we were doing it in live action, would cost so much money that yeah. nobody billions would ever. Billions of dollars. Billions. Billions. Mm -hmm. No one would ever greenlight this show if it were live action. Right. They'd say too much money. And yeah. Um, and by the way, <laughs> by the way, by the way, really quick, two things, really quick, two things, and then two things, really quick. Then we should open it up to questions. Two things. Right, right. We have the best cast across the season. Not not just people up here, but we've got Tom Kinney sprinkled throughout the season. We've got Maurice Lamarche. Uh, we've got uh, uh, um, John uh, Oliver. John Oliver. Uh, David Cross. Um, We've got uh, the, uh, the real Batman, the actual, the actual, the, the, the actual like, real life the Batman. The real Batman, not who, an actor that ever played yeah, him. No, the, the real, real, one. real Batman is in the show. Is in the show, um, the ladies of Farscape. Who are they? Again? Uh, we got Claudia Black from Farscape, as well as Virginia Hay. Any Farscape fans? You got Any, Dr. Octopus. We, 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 we got we got Alfred Rob Paulson. Molina. Rob Paulson. Rob Paulson's in it. Uh, uh, Jess Harnell is in it. Uh, uh, I mean, my God. Wait, who? Phil Hendry! Phil Hendry! How come they know more than you Nobody. about your own show? Dana Nobody? Carvey? <laughs> Dana Carvey's in it? Dana Carvey! Woo! For God's sake. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why I'm... I'm uh, but, uh, and then I got a couple of uh, the teenagers from Degrassi. Uh, uh, J Degrassi Junior High. Um, Aislinn Paul, who plays Claire. You guys know Claire, right? You're all watching Degrassi, you're all cut up, I'm sure. Drake? And then, uh, no, we didn't get Drake, but we did get Cassie Steele who plays Manny, she's in it, she's in the show. So buckle into your safety belts and get ready. Uh, and uh, Dracula. Dracula's in it. <laughs> real Dracula. The real actual Dracula. He, yeah, he, he showed up for a day. Um, for a night. He hates Batman. For a night. Yeah, for a night. For a night. <laughs> we had to shift the record to, to late. <laughs> Ryan, 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 say a couple things. Say a couple we'll things, Ryan. Q and A. <laughs> say a couple things. Uh, I think a lot of our stories came from the community leftover pile. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this a lot. Uh, we were going to do this on Community. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we can do it with real time travel. This is Community of... Season Four. It's Community Season Four. The real, true Community <laughs> Season Four. It's Rick and Morty. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we should we should we, let's open it up to questions. No, wait, wait, wait. Let no? me do a couple of announcements. Okay, here announcements, announcements. I, right. I, uh, the purple car with the. Uh... No, you talk. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You don't even see me. You never call hey, me. Hey, Justin, talk. I got an idea. Why don't you do the voices? Oh, you guys want to hear me do the voices? Yeah. For for, for characters that okay. that, that, here's, that here's the thing. This, this is the is problem with. Hold on. This is the thing. He's, he's the creator of the show and writer of the show. He does both of the voices of the... T t I don't know the word. Titular? Titular? Titular, yeah. Titular. Okay, so let's do a quick scene between Rick and Morty. Okay. I heard Tennis uh, Racket and Barber. There's your... Uh, okay, okay, all right, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Morty, 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 what, what, what are you doing right now, Morty? 
oh, geez, Rick, you know, I'm just sitting here on my computer. I'm, I, I'm reading about tennis rackets, you know? M Morty, come on. I, I, there's no time to be reading about tennis rackets, Morty. We got to go. We got to get outside, Morty. We got to go. We got to go sit under a tree, Morty. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I don't want to sit under a tree, Rick. You know, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really into this whole tennis racket thing right now. You know, I just found this new website. It's called www. Morty, Morty, don't worry about tennis rackets. We gotta sit under a tree. I don't know. I mean, and then it goes on forever. I don't know. I don't have a punchline or anything. What am I? Listen, I'm exhausted. Awesome. I'm exhausted. It's Saturday. Okay, I've been here real, since. Real quick, I got. I'm on some, two hours sleep. What do you want? I got some Adult me? Swim uh, uh, announcements that I have to say. Okay, so guys, everybody, stop by the Adult Swim booth. It's 3721, and experience a day spa <laughs> on a convention floor. Why do you, uh, why are you saying it so sarcastically? That's my sexy voice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh it sounded sarcastic. <laughs> it explains a lot. Sorry. Yeah, yeah Sorry. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, your entire love life has been in air quotes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Touch me there. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. 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 We're keeping it clean, guys. Okay. Come all right, on. Keep this it is, clean. This was serious. Let's be nice. All right. Okay. So. Uh, if you go to the booth, you'll get a mini massage. <laughs> that sounded terrible. <laughs> uh, and also, there's going to be a costume contest, and uh, the lucky winner will make will win a thousand dollars. We'll make whoopee. And a trip or two to William Street. Wow, that's cool, actually. Okay. I'm in. I'm on a win. Right, I'm on a win. Go to the adultroom.com right, for uh, costume <laughs> yeah. contest rules. Everybody, just talk. You know, over. Smabby dabby dab doop 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 dab you can go. go hey, on. don't don't be mean to her. Everybody, go. No, she not. looks like a very sweet young lady, right, and you're yelling okay. at her. I'm not yelling. I have to yell. I got your back. Talk over me. <laughs> All right. First question, go. I'd like to hear Justin's thoughts on the show. <laughs> 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 uh, so before you start talking, though, Dan, um, <laughs> nice. any any chance of having Chevy Chase on the show? On <laughs> Rick and Marty? Actually, I actually do, I'll I take actually, my question You have offline. some recording of him somewhere, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I, had to, I do have some of his audio work uh, on, on file. Um, that's Thank actually you. that's actually a great idea. I hadn't even thought about it. I, I, it's it's a perfect medium for him because uh, you you won't be able to see the edits. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, he's great. Question. He's great. Yeah. Next he's, question. He's, he's Next great, question. by the way, and we're friends. I hope everybody knows that. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Justin and Dan, do you guys find? I mean, besides budgetary purposes, do you find uh, writing for animation more creatively liberating than, say, writing live action? I do for sure. Um, I don't like going places and sitting around for 20 hours waiting for them to reset a shot. I, I made the conscious decision a long time ago, I'm, I'm done with live action. Because I can just sit in, in my, my, my like agoraphobic, darkened room and create worlds. And, uh, and now I'm doing it with a bunch of awesome, talented animators and cr designers. And, and, uh, and we can go anywhere we want, anywhere. I mean, we, we, you can draw any background, but... Except Spain, you're not, I don't you're know You're not why. allowed to draw Spain. Missouri, too. There's some weird law. Some you can't draw Missouri. Nothing can take place in Missouri uh, in animation, only live action. But, um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing. I mean, we can go, I mean, what are you going to do? It's like, like, like Galaxy Quest, right? Like, we could do an episode that's like Galaxy Quest, and it would cost us a fraction of the budget that it did for those guys. They had to go to that crazy Utah, crazy goblin park and run around finding locations and CG and forget it. Sorry. Okay. Next question. You asked about writing, right? Not shooting. Next question. <laughs> I can't hear. I, it's very hard to hear. I'm sorry. Next Hello. Question. This is a question for Dan and Justin. Um, just wondering what was the main driving force be behind doing like a 22-minute show as opposed to the typical like short Adult Swim like 11 to 12 minute thing. Well, Adult Swim wanted to do a, a slight departure from what they've been doing so well over the last uh, decade or more. Uh, they, they, uh, they, that's how old I am. I don't know how old Adult Swim is. Um, <laughs> Longer the, than a decade. The, uh, um, they, 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 we, we, 
they're, they're kind of like, we, they think, I hope I'm not speaking at a school, uh, of putting this at something like 10 p.m. So, you know, Adult Swim's usual fare is the zigging instead of zagging absurdist, like, sh you know, burst of, of frenetic, amazing, they're, they're, they're brain getting... challenging energy. And this is like, oh, this guy's eating a sandwich and he's married, and then there's a flying saucer comes down. That really messes up his day. It's like, it's a story, <laughs> you know, beginning, middle, end. So, so. Uh, they're also doing really well with the Family Guy syndication, and they just got Bob's Burgers syndication. Uh, coming so the, the, those half hour shows pull in really big numbers for them even though they're basically reruns you know they're they're, they're syndicated so they they're, they're looking I, I think that the thought was why not make our own half hour show that's in that same level of quality and you know so that I think that's that's why there you go next Thank question you. And we were happy to do it hi uh, I'm a big fan of channel 101 robot bastard and uh, house of Cosby uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have a question for Dan. Will there be an episode with a colony on the moon? Uh, uh, yes. All right. No, I, he's, re he's referring to my Harmontown podcast in which I declare that uh, uh, I'm going to go to the moon and start a colony there. But I, As you should. Yeah. yeah, sure. It'll be hard to breathe. Um, but. You know what? I'll tell you what. Uh, at some point in time, there will be an episode. Well, there's where an there's episode a... on Pluto. There Spoiler Pluto. alert. <laughs> Next question. Next Jeez, question. Jeez, Ridley. That was great. Small. You mentioned there's no time travel in the series, but it seems to me that Rick and Morty have a Marty McFly, Doc Brown <laughs> sort of relationship. Shh. Hey, shut up. Stop. Shh. Oh, oh, shh. Come on. Were you influenced elephant in by a certain trilogy at all? Um, I mean, the whole, the, the whole thing started by me joking, you know, making this stupid, horrible, really X-rated, don't watch it cartoon, uh, where I was just making fun of uh, Doc Brown and Marty McFly um, and doing my horrible impression of them. And then many years later, it turned into, they've, they've, you know, they've, wait, what was your question again, by the way? Oh no, oh were you influenced God. by any Oh, oh time travel. Is there going to be time no, travel? Well, no, I know it's not, but were you influenced at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally influenced. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, thank yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here we go, Mega Man. Hi there, Justin. Speaking of that, um, a couple years back, my friend had showed me Doc and Marnie, and I was wondering, um, as far as what was your inspiration to just say, this needs to turn into a show, and does anything really carry over? I know there's got to be a lot of changes for copyright the, issues. The, the, the only thing that carries over, really, is the, those two voices and kind of their, the look, sort of. I mean, and also just one of the most, like, exciting parts of the show for me is going into the record and I'll always run scenes as scripted but there's certain scenes where I'll just go off off book and I'll just run the scene and I'll just talk to myself as the two characters and whenever I do that I say stuff that I would never think to write my brain is all weird so words will come out wrong and I'll stutter on certain things and it really just makes the characters come alive and I think that's something that that was maybe the most on display in the original short that I did, um, that, that that we've we, we've done a fairly good job of maintaining in, in the series. And I mean, those just those two characters are just I, I love those two characters. They're, it's just so much fun. You were you were wondering about the ball licking, right? The ball yeah. licking. Yeah. You yeah. want to know about the ball yeah. licking? <laughs> Does it fix everything? <laughs> no. Is there anything the ball it licking can't carry it over? Got to fix it. Uh, you guys got to put it <laughs> in yeah. like the. There's DVD no ball licking in the it. series. <laughs> okay, next question Thank you. Here. for all two of you that know about that. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering, like, in terms of uh, continuity, uh, are things going to carry over from one episode to another? Like, are character deaths going to be permanent or something like that? Uh, oh, boy. Um, I'm not going to answer that. I'll, all I will say is that we, we focused on episodic, very, very episodic uh, across the season. There are some sort of, you know, there's a mid-season arc episode. There is a little bit of a continuity, but we've kept it at, 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 a, at a very bare minimum, and we've done it in such a way that it's very modular. So, for the most part, um, I think if there's a point where one character says to another, "You know what? I've had it with you," like there's this thing that you do, um, we make sure that that episode is not undone by putting another one in a different order. Like we, there's a couple key points in character relationships that. Are, are sequential. Yeah. But the, yeah. each episode, because we're a new show, we want to really be very accessible no matter when you jump in. So, yeah. yes. So, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 so, so, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I, um, Dan, I think you did a great job on Community Seasons 1 through 3, and I was wondering, yeah, I know, right? Succeeds in the movie. Um, I was wondering what similarities you draw between the two series that you were working on now. Um, they're, 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 they both marry um, uh, 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 absurd, almost sci-fi kind of conceits with very grounded emotional dynamics. Both of them are allowed to do crazy things precisely because the physics of emotion are are held together with an internal logic. Um, they, they are inverted in the sense that on on Community, I'm the weird sci-fi guy going, how can we possibly justify this on a sitcom? And at Rick and Morty, I'm I'm happily the sane one uh, who, <laughs> who, who, is, who is always going like, like how can we make this about feelings? Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, good question. Give him an extra bean. Give him a token. Give, give him, give him okay, a, one of the tokens. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry, but we are going to have to end it right there. Please. But what about the guy with a tree on his hat? What was he yeah, going to Can ask? we not oh, get I'm the sorry, tree hat guy? Can love. we just get the tree hat guy Question, gravity please. Falls. I gravity won't be able to sleep. Don't you do gravity a voice falls on that hat. And also Real quick. I have, yeah, I should t shirt. Go, go ahead, go, hurry go. up. What is it? I, I should t shirt. Make it Machu, good. Archer. Machu Picchu? Uh, yeah, something like that. What did you say? Archer, Archer t shirt. Are you, Archer t shirt. That's your question? <laughs> no. This Are was totally happening? worth it. By Are you way. Anatoly? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he he came to my Armitage, so he's a Rus he's he's a Russian. Uh, <laughs> he's one of those. <laughs> I, I totally I, I follow okay. you. So you should wait my uh, question tomorrow on community session. Okay. Uh, All right. In <laughs> Russia, questions ask you. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so, so everybody, uh, check out Rick and Morty premiering on Adult Swim in December. December!